So this is sort of a public service announcement for folks with older Tesla Model S cars. Um, for those of you unfamiliar with what you're looking at, this is autopilot. This is the self-driving system that comes with most modern Teslas built after around VIN 50,000 or so. Uh, I think it was first offered in October of 2014. Uh, what's unique about this screen is it's actually not Tesla Autopilot. It is Tesla's Autopilot interface powered by OpenPilot. And OpenPilot is GeoHots, George Hotz's pet project. And what you're seeing here is the visual radar of OpenPilot. And this is being fed into the Model S's dash. So you can see here that we're picking up lane markers. In this case, it's from parking spots, but it works for the purposes of this demonstration. And the visual uh, recognition model that OpenPilot uses, which is a couple of tail lights, and we see those tail lights, and so we have a visual radar fix. And it jumps around a little bit because it's just eyeballing it. Um, it's not the same as Tesla's, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, where we're going with this, though, is there is a community of open pilot hackers that work on the Tesla port specifically that are enhancing this. And the, the end goal is to get to feature parity with Tesla's autopilot. And we've made some pretty incredible progress. Uh, the original OG is Kalud, and uh, he was the one who started the Tesla uh, autopilot or open pilot port. Uh, these days, uh, BogGyver and Sid do uh, the heavy lifting, uh, and Apple Guru does hardware stuff. Uh, I'm just a bit player in this community. But let me show you. This is how you know you're not looking at a, a Tesla with autopilot, because this would say autopilot, but it in fact says open pilot. And here, you can see some of the features of OpenPilot. A lot of these are still works in progress. It's very early days. Um, Bog just, in fact, got radar working with OpenPilot just today. So that's just rolling out. Uh, there is already um, map speed, uh, so speed control based on Tesla's maps. Uh, and so there is functionality for that. And, and we have communication between the Eon and and the, the Tesla interface. So if I tap this switch, it's going to actually shut the Eon screen off where it's supposed to. There it goes. So you can see uh, we don't actually need this to be uh, visible anymore because we've replicated the functionality on the autopilot display. But really uh, what I wanted to get to about this is, uh, uh, oh, by the way, this car is VIN 12,000. So yeah, it, it's well before the cutoff for, for uh, actually being able to get autopilot hardware, but has some of the autopilot uh, capability. Um, anyway, uh, if you have an older Tesla Model S uh, that doesn't have autopilot hardware and you're somewhat technical and you wanna do the retrofit, you need to do something. Anytime your car goes in for service, and or anytime you get prompted for an update, you need to not do the update. You should come talk to us in the in the Tesla Discord channel, uh, Comma AI's uh, Discord server, uh, the Tesla channel. And whenever you send your car in, you should tape a sticky note or a post-it note on it that says, "Do not update the firmware." Don't do it. Uh, if you update the firmware to the latest firmware uh, that Tesla's started to roll out, um, uh, 2019 builds of the firmware, this is a 2018, this is still uh, on most cars, I think, but they're starting to push out 2019. And when 2019 uh, firmware is applied to your car, we will not be able to do this to your car. We will not be able to retrofit you with any of the Tesla uh, interface 
nor will we be able to retrofit you with any of the other hardware that includes radar and sensors, which are planned for the Tesla Open Pilot port. So uh, there's the actual car, uh, and that's how we see it. So this is your PSA. Don't upgrade the firmware. You don't need dog mode. Trust me, you don't need it. You can just, you can just get by with keep climate control on when you leave the car. In any case, that's it for now. So this is demonstrating Tesla Open Pilot port. So the car is basically hugging the solid blue line there you see in the in the UI that's the center line the yellow line on the road and the car is following that. It's doing all the steering on its own. I'm doing speed control just using the pedal but there is a hardware device for open pilot that will handle acceleration as well. I'm going to do lane change here. So all I did for lane change was I initially I initiated the lane change using using the, the signal, the turn stock. Now this corner is a little bit hard for the car to handle, so I helped it out with the turn. But it's hugging okay now. And so if we speed up. You should see, there you can see the car ahead of us starting to come into the, into the model. So it's showing up on the Eon and it's showing up. So I'm slowing down here and that is the end of the demonstration.